This module will provide an overview of the radiometry capabilities of the Lepton Microthermal Camera Module. FLIR.com forward slash Lepton Integration is the best resource to get started with Lepton. It includes guides, reference designs, software, application notes, and videos to help demonstrate how to access streaming data. Developers integrate on Raspberry Pi with Windows. Generally, Raspberry Pi is used for a Linux or a processor-based implementation. Use Windows for testing, paired with a pure thermal board, offered by GroupGets. The Lepton User App is the standard application to use on the Windows platform, paired with the pure thermal board, since it has a very specific electrical interface. It's best to use a board like this that has a standard USB output that can stream over UBC to simplify the process of capturing data and sending commands to the camera. The video output of Lepton has multiple formats and can come from different parts of the video pipeline. Lepton 2.5 and 3.5 are radiometric. When necessary, radiometry can be disabled. When it is disabled, the camera output is not necessarily linearly proportional to the output temperature because it's dependent on the temperature of the camera. When radiometry is enabled, the T-stable output stabilizes the output of the camera. When T-linear is enabled, which is by default, the output of the 16-bit interface is linearly proportional to scene temperature. If radiometry or temperature is a requirement, use the T-linear output. T-stable output can also be used, but an additional conversion will be necessary to get to temperature output. The 8-bit interface or AGC interface is generally used when radiometry is not a factor. To convert from the T-linear or temperature linear output to Kelvin, Divide the T-linear value from the camera by 100. For example, if the camera output is 30,000, the actual temperature is 26.85 degrees Celsius. Lepton is accurate to plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius, or 5% of temperature. This can be optimized based on system design. Generally, screens cannot display 16-bit data and display output in 8-bit. The compression from over 65,000 values to 255 values is a software-intensive process that is done in camera, but also can be done by external electronics. If the AGC is done on the camera, the post-AGC RGB888 output comes from the camera. Use it for designs that do not require radiometry and only need to display contrast in the scene. Only one video output is available from the camera, so if both temperature data and high contrast video are required, AGC will be done by the integrator's platform. Teledyne FLIR can help provide advice for this type of image processing, but ultimately it will require implementation by the integrator. The radiometric accuracy of Lepton is plus or minus 5 degrees Celsius, or 5% when measuring objects in high gain mode. In low gain, or the high temperature measurement mode, Accuracy is plus or minus 10 degrees Celsius, or 10% of the temperature. The accuracy is dependent on the camera and scene temperature, as shown in the table. The worst case scenario is a high temperature camera and a low temperature scene. It's possible to optimize the radiometric accuracy of Lepton and system design has an impact. Generally, it's best to keep the camera as cool as possible, while also providing a very isothermal or constant temperature environment. Keep hot, high-power components away from the camera module, and make sure the camera is not subjected to large changes from the heat of surrounding components. A way to achieve optimal radiometric accuracy is with an in-scene reference like a known temperature black body with an emissivity of 1. The pixels that see the black body provide the reference temperature for extrapolating temperatures in the rest of the scene. Radiometric accuracy is also dependent on the number of pixels that are on the target being measured. Five pixels is the minimum, and ten or more pixels on a target is best. The target being measured should also be uniform temperature. The smaller the target, the closer the camera must be to ensure enough pixels on target. With more pixels and greater resolution, Lepton 3.5 is the preferred choice for measuring surface temperature. When using the T-linear output from Lepton, the most important parameters to adjust in the SDK are scene emissivity and background temperature. 
Small changes in these parameters can have effects of single degrees of temperature. Temperature of the window and the transmission of the window need to be factored into the measurement too. Atmospheric transmission is often less impactful since the objects being measured by Lepton are most often close to the camera, considering pixel density. Emissivity and background temperature are important parameters. They can change based on the scene and conditions. Flat black objects generally have the higher emissivity, approaching 1, and are the most ideal for temperature measurement. Background temperature and other objects emitting radiation in the scene are not reflected off the surface being measured. Reflectivity is greater for objects with a lower emissivity. When attempting to measure surfaces such as polished metal, the camera is seeing a lot of reflected energy from the scene around the surface. This becomes a significant factor when attempting to measure a surface with emissivity less than approximately 90%. The lepton default emissivity is set equal to 1, so it's best to adjust emissivity using the table shown here. There are external environmental and internal system considerations that impact radiometric accuracy. In addition to the factors introduced in this presentation, it may be useful to explore the thermography training that's available at the Infrared Training Center. For further questions or support, please go to fleer.custhelp.com to connect with our support agents as well as our applications engineers. Additional integration resources can be found at fleer.com forward slash lepton integration. Thank you for your time.